A great deal of what we've been taught and trained in business is fundamentally at, what, at odds with what it takes for us to trust each other. And so when a company or an individual does something that really demonstrates warmth towards a customer or another person, it really stands out. It really catches our attention. It really moves us and generates the kind of loyalty and trust and commitment that you just can't buy with advertising or discounts or programs like that. There was a big change that took place between 2000 and 2010 that I think was really a tipping point. And it wasn't a change necessarily in the way brands were acting, but rather it was a change in the availability of information about the people behind the companies and brands that we're doing business with. It used to be that companies and brands could really control the message and manage what showed up in the public eye, and that is not the case anymore. Whether it's e-commerce, social networks, mobile devices, there is infinite information now, and now it's not that if you do wrong by someone, everybody in the country might know about it by the end of the month. It's rather everybody on the earth could know about it by the end of the day. And so that is what's really changed. The social accountability is back with a vengeance, and it's what used to exist before the Industrial Revolution. Now it's just turbocharged with all the technology we have around us. The book The Human Brand is available at all the usual places, at Amazon and so forth, but you can also find lots of other resources, videos, and an online web application at thehumanbrand.com to learn about how your customers or your colleagues or your employees view your company or brand from a warmth and confidence standpoint.